Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today is Monday, February 28th, 2022. We have a 2 o'clock Board of Condemnation Blight meeting. Uh, regular members are in presence, Hans Cleary, Phil Higgins, and Sean Reed. The time is exactly 2 p.m. To what, call to call this meeting to order. Uh, court, uh, court approve, uh, approval of minutes from the meeting from January 24th, 2022. I make a motion to approve with just, just checking one thing on it. Um, under section 753 Beacon View, it said no visible signs of blight or garbage. This item is to be removed. And then it's still on the agenda here. So I'm wondering, is that something else, sir? No, it's the same. It's the same uh, complaint. However, it was not visible from the street. There was no articles of debris or anything okay. from the street. So we kind of looked at, well, what's the complaint about? Yeah. Um, so we decided to keep it on um, just to investigate a okay. little further. Okay. Okay. Was that discussed at the meeting? Or, you know, like, because it seems like in the, in the minutes it says take it off. It's a, like this will be removed. Mm -hmm. Or did we, at the meeting, was it, was it uh, you know, Another, further, I think inve it was to further investigation? Further investigation to see if it's a health or fire complaint. So make that update. I thought another complaint came in, right? After we made that determination. Um, I thought. I'm not sure. All right, so but should it reflect then just should the minutes reflect that that line should say for you know the last line be changed to further investigation is needed? I think so. Okay. 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 I second the motion. Okay. So as with, amended. As as, as, amended. as amended. All approved. those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any new communications since then? I have none. None? I have none. Number four, condemnation, old business, 284 Berkeley Road. Sean, I'll uh, open it up to you, I believe. So the, the owner of the address had pulled a building permit uh, to just to try to fix the structural issues uh, that were in the house. So the water shut off, the power, the gas, everything shut off. He did make those uh, repairs to make it structurally stable. Yep. Uh, and his intent now is to sell. So we're going to go out and do the inspection. His intent is now to sell. I know there's an interest from one of his neighbors across the street that might be buying it. Okay. If you talk to the owner, the only suggestion I would make is that it's it's unsecured right now. The back door is just, open, you know, there's there's a hasp and a, uh, but no lock on it. And so you can just open the door if 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 you're in communications with the owner, like, or have okay. contact information, I'll like, just, just tell him to throw a lock on that and mm -hmm. then that'll, you know, it's stable. It still meets the criteria for blight, so. Yeah. I think, you know, part of me says, well, we should attach a, maybe attach the blight notice to the land record so that, That's fair. but we were going to have a hearing today, right, on that one for the new owner? Was that the one where we were sending the new owner a letter? Or no? No. Um, um, that was a different one. So just because he's selling doesn't mean it's should hold No, we did, we did issue a hearing notice for the new mm -hmm. owner for today. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Now, is, before we continue with this, he is on flight, but as far as the condemnation, because it's structurally sound. Um, yeah, if you, you know, like, if, if from a structural standpoint, if it's structurally sound, then, you know, like, yeah, I would be, you know, and that would be up to you to, to determine and say if it's, could come off con condemnation. It's no longer a menace to public safety in regard to an oh, being, being an unfit structure. It's still a menace to public safety for blight reasons because it's unsecured. Okay. Yeah. But if you're okay with that, then I would say you yeah. going out to do an inspection in a couple of days. Yeah. From the new frame. Okay. Um, <sighs> leave it on, take it off. Well, since it still meets blight, we have to leave it on. But as far it, as condemnation, or but blight? as far as condemnation, I guess we have to wait because if, if we're not sure that it's structurally sound. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave it on for now. Okay. Number five, condemnation, new business. Um, 92 Grassmere Ave. I honestly thought that was still on as old business and not new. 
um, condemnation. Um, looking back over the minutes, yeah. I believe we have taken it off, and I, I honestly think it uh, it definitely fits. If it didn't go back on last month, that it definitely fits the definition of condemnation. Um, I've spoken with the homeowner who is aware of the rear of the property being wide open, the glass, the broken glass, the stairs, obviously. Now the, the hole in the roof looks much larger than it did in the past as well. Yeah. Now. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess were we uh, on this one under condemnation, it says a hearing letter for condemnation will be sent for the next meeting it was what was decided at last meeting. So are we at... Like was was Ray notified um, so for a hearing? The, we did some further look back, and it was on condemnation in October, and decided to be moved to blight. So I guess it's more of a discussion. <coughs> Where's that? Or I, I, I definitely believe that it should be on condemn, you know, condemnation. Um, I, as far the changes in the structural stability of it, uh, you know, the, the, the hole in the roof is getting worse. The hole in the roof, the, the, water in there. the back, the back, uh, the rear of the property, the windows are all, you know, uh, removed, smashed, broken. Um, when I talked to him on the phone a couple weeks ago, he was unaware of that, which made me kind of think, well, he hasn't seen the property in some time now. Yeah, well, and it's also a matter of perception of what he sees versus what you might see. Is well, he doesn't view things the same way uh, we do. Um, but if uh, so, I guess the question is: uh, is are we having? A, is this you know, was he was he notified? And is this a hearing today or no? No. So then we have to we would have so to notify him for. A I hearing. guess that was the question because it wasn't condemnation until October. So I don't know, I guess that was the question when we were going back through the minutes and the notes that it was in condemnation October and then it moved to blight. Does the whole process start again? So it, so if if it was solely on, you know, if it, it had to be on blight because we are currently issued a citation right. for that. It was so on it, both. It's, it's there. So we're addressing it through blight and we're, we're through a blight citation and we're fining him for that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and the blight somewhat covers the issues you know there's defective roof defective siding uh, can cover that it's 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 another concern so if we want if we want uh, what I'm saying is if we want to have it back on condemnation we can't simply just uh, we have to have a hearing and say say yes we're going to vote that it's back on back on condemnation now because it's deteriorating even further and uh, that we are going to, you know, take action under that. So it's a supplemental enforcement action in addition to the fines, which I'm fine with. It is, it's, it's deteriorating the, the third floor roof on the third floor uh, section by the stairs mm -hmm. has That's collapsed in true. and uh, there's the hole on the other side, uh, like right by where the eave meets the roof is getting bigger and you know I think I think he had a repair over that at some point maybe it fell off. Yeah, a temporary yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm fine with that it just means we keep it on condemnation for another month and have the hearing next month. Okay. And was there discussion about transfer so, of ownership? During our discussion and um, this was going back a couple weeks ago you know I, I called him to let him know that his, this, this particular parcel is getting you know uh, worse. I mean the, with the roof it looks definitely larger, the windows being broken, um, the stairs are still deteriorating. I, I asked him, you know, hey, you know, what are your plans with this? And he de actually mentioned that he has contracts for all five of his properties that he is looking to sell. He has contracts and he has not yet signed them though. So he actually mentioned, you know, when are you meeting? We gave him the date. I was kind of wondering if he was going to be here, but um, with that, I, I don't know if he will be, won't be. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it, so he offers have been made. Other people have entered, are willing to enter into a contract. He hasn't entered into a contract to sell them. Then. Perhaps. Okay. And, and, and I'll, I'll wait till we get back into Blight in regards to another property. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, uh, yeah, so then we'll, for, for that one, we'll just have to keep it on for now and, and uh, you know, have the hearing next month. Okay, so we definitely need to send that. I have to send a notice of hearing, okay. uh, you know, to him and have him come in or participate in the phone. The okay. Other. All right. Um, number six, flight ordinance, old business, 15 Beacon View Drive. I did have the owner come in and talk to me about it um, last week, and uh, he's, you know, basically he's waiting. I think I sent you an email waiting on plans for that. You know, the the land surveyor uh, zoning want required additional surveying. The land surveyor says he's just got to write them up. He's is should be done by the end of this week uh, with the plans, and then he plans to pursue a building permit right there. Uh, once he gets it, he's ready to go, ready to start the work. Um, I did go back out and today, and both doors are secured, um, but the the boards that he's put on the back, uh, one has fallen off, so it's reopened again. So, so I can talk to him about that. But uh, so his plan is, you know, as soon as he gets those plans, to go to the get a building permit, and start the process. Um, and uh, he's you know indicated he'll appeal the citation, so that'll you know we'll have a hearing for that uh, that appeal. Um, so hopefully we'll see what the hearing officer says. But was that scheduled already? No. Mm -mm. Okay. No. But we'll get that scheduled eventually, and then we'll see if the hearing what kind of patience the hearing officer has. <laughs> terms of that but he said it would take him you know it's probably a, a six month uh, or actually no he said three to four month project once he gets started <coughs> all right um, so we just leave it on carry forward yeah it's still non-compliant so all right 284 Berkeley you kind of already touched upon now in regards to blight yes it is still deemed blight do we need to have a hearing on that then? We already did. I mean, well, we have to, we have to have a hearing with the new owner. Right. But if he's planning on putting it on the market, you know, I think what our <sighs> so we did send them a hearing notice to the new owner to be here today. Okay. So that's where oh, we're at. Oh, all right. Well, so then then you know we should we should probably proceed if there's. And then that would enable us to put on the land records, put the order, the notice of determination on the land records that for anybody who's buying the property that does a title search, it'll come across that and they'll be aware that they have to address the blight issues. That makes sense, right? Yeah. So, I believe so. <clears throat> so based upon the, you know, missing siding, damaged fascia boards, unsecured property, I, I make a motion that it meets the criteria for blight. Uh, which it has all along. We just have a new owner, and then it continues to meet that criteria, so I'll make that motion. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So we'll send a notice of determination to the new owner. All right. 92 Grassmere continues to be fine. 166 Grassmere Ave. Yeah, I, the, the car's gone. I would say the, the materials around the house See, the majority of that is children's toys, so I wouldn't say from a materials perspective, but the uh, railings, I did walk up and down the railings, uh, uh, the back steps, and the railings do seem like, between the handrails, um, the, the caps on the deck, the handrails themselves, and the spindles, there's a lot of them that are rotted and loose, and yeah, and again, I know there was an assessment made by your office whether they were structurally sound anymore, and I think it was no. Was correct. And so, uh, you know, we I think we're still at the point where that presents a menace to public safety and, and should be addressed through through blight, but he hasn't... He hasn't made much of an effort. Hasn't made much of an effort other than getting rid of the car and some of the debris in the driveway. Um, and then, so uh, so we you, you gentlemen issued a citation last month, mm -hmm. so it's being fined now. So, and he hasn't, has that citation gone out? 
I believe we sent the, the citation. I'll double check. Okay. I think I remember. Did I sign it or no? I don't think I signed it because I didn't. I think I didn't do that, inspect it at that point. I think this was also discussed internally in, in our office as far as getting out there due to the multifamily structure to do an actual, you know, a, a code inspection as well. Yeah. So I'll check on that one when I get back to the office, but maybe during that time is, you know, if we can get in and on the property it would be a good opportunity <laughs> to kind of remind the occupants and the owners to yeah. correct some of these issues as it, well. It, it looks like they did on the front porch. They secured some of the railings and spindles and things like that. And while they're still a little loose, they were tightened up a little bit. Uh, but the back doesn't back seem the back seems like there's one section that's just that the, the railing cap is like rotted, yeah. you know. And the the you know like there's like the, the handrail comes up and meets the the joist, I guess. And then there's like a gap of about a half an inch, and you can see the nails there. So it's like Coming apart. It's coming apart. There's a lots of stuff like that. Now you know. I mean, I'm not an expert on that stuff, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> so it's being fined. You know, it's it's just a matter of you know. Hopefully, those will, once he gets the letter and processes it, that they'll take the steps necessary to remedy it. Uh, number five, 53 Marion. Drove by that. Seems to be currently under construction. Yeah. So. Um, without, uh, where were we with 53 Marion? Because that was a that's been on a while with the new owner. And yeah, we we had a hearing for the new for the new ownership and issued a, I think a notice of determination for the new ownership. So, but but as long as there's active construction, yeah, I think moving forward, it looks like they're not fine. planning to stop. No, okay. no, I don't think we ever got to find. Okay. That one. I just have to double check that the permits were reissued. Yes. Uh, and the, the largest couple of work was approved. Okay. So, um, <coughs> based on that, should we leave it on, or can we remove it and change the change it from a blight issue more towards something else if that needs to be done? I don't think it's a blight issue. I don't think it's a blight issue it's anymore. It's a building issue of anything. It, right. And it might not be anything. Yeah. I mean, if they stop construction, what's the Action. Uh, what action can the building department take? You know, if they stop construction. If they just yeah. So if they you know so this property has had a history of starting and stopping construction efforts and switching owners and all that stuff. <clears throat> you know, if they stop, you know, I guess is it going to just do we wait until so in other cases where there's construction we've waited till the construction's finished to take it off, uh, oh, li like um, Rosedale, the one. Can't remember the gentleman's name, mm -hmm. uh, but the Rosedale property we waited till the, the the construction was finished, you know, before we took it off. The only thing we can do is if the, if there's no work done within a six month period, the permit expires. Yeah, we can make it reapply. We can, we can make yeah. it ask for an extension. It's not a whole. So a whole I mean, with off. with this one, it's been on so long. Mm -hmm. I I would just keep lean it. towards just keeping it until. Okay. until yeah, I, I stopped by today, met with a couple. Of the uh, you know workers who seemed very um, very pleased with the the way the direction you know yeah. construction is going yeah so yeah um, that's that's a good point I didn't, I didn't think of it that way that makes sense yeah I mean it's given it's, the history given the history you know it's yeah okay so no action on that then uh, 20 more house highway uh, again I stopped by today knock no answer on the door yeah does not appear as though anything's moving forward. Um, I mean, they did work on the siding, except for the front, front. <laughs> you know, yeah, which front. has been the main complaint, and there's still debris in the side yard. A lot of debris. And so so it's wow. still being yeah. cited. I think the same thing, we, I think we just need to put the citation on the land record so that if there's a quick sale or something like that, it, you know, mm -hmm. it gets picked up. Yeah. <laughs> And the, the garage is, you know, everything's still the same. Yeah. All right, eleven eighty Oldfield. No so change there. I would just say, yeah, I didn't see any change at all. If, if anything, just a little less bushes. Looks like some got cut down a little bit. Yeah. Maybe just because winter, but it seemed like it was now, yeah. Was this property transferred? <sighs> I, I, I haven't looked. I mean, I know it was put up for sale. It was like a short sale, and 
I was out there and met with a realtor and a contractor who, who indicated he's buying it um, and, and, and hope to move fast. So I guess we can look and see if the land records have actually changed on it and see if there's a change in ownership. Yeah. We should have done that earlier. I think, yeah. you know, just because I, I've also heard that there might have been. So yeah, just keep it on for... Yeah, I mean, this, you know, this is, this is one, as I've expressed before, where, yeah. you know, I, I disagreed when it, when it went on. It was, I thought it was just shy of being blight because it's really blight for the amount of debris on there and the, the overgrowth was kind of when it came back on, and I just don't think overgrowth is really an issue. Um, but so, well, so uh, you know, I think we can leave it on, and once the new owner cleans up, the, you know, he's obviously going to get rid of the old half-repaired tractors and things like that. Is there machinery still in the yard? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a snowblower and, uh, you know, some kind of, like, motorized equipment and stuff. But he's got, you know, we we had we had effectively reduced him to one area of stuff, about 10 cubic yards, which is the zoning allowance, and that was we took him off light, and then at some point, you know, he brought in a brought in or spread out some of the material that was either in the garage, and uh, previous members felt like he's gone back over that limit, and so it was put on. Um, but I did see what looks like a new lawnmower in the backyard. As well as a, a, a big toolbox on wheels. Yeah. That's about the only difference I saw. Yeah. So, I, you know, I think I guess we have to check on the ownership and and see what the status of that is, and you know, make a determination if we're going to issue a new uh, new hearing to the new owner. All right. But hopefully, we'll get them just to clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> Stay the same then. 447 Stratfield Road. Um, I drove by there today. It's the same real estate sign still in front. Yep. Um, with the winter, most of the overgrowth, you know, is kind of, you know, flattened somewhat. The the only thing that's back there is a broken down gazebo and an in-ground swimming pool that I will say the pool itself it, it obviously it needs to go in my my opinion well, yeah it's not repairable um, yeah. it's not repairable and the concern is the waterway directly behind it is actually eroding the land that the yeah. swimming pool is on top of so there is a section of the pool that is unsupported yeah but you know the last communication with the real estate agent said the owner will not be spending a penny or doing anything on the property it's a it's a, it's something he's just walked away from essentially. So we're citing it. What, there's not much else we can do in that regard. Okay. Uh, number nine, two eighty Tuckahoe. So this is the other property I was referring to. Obviously the same. I have not seen much um, much work. There's rotted boards. Um, you know, open in the second floor to possible you know uh, weather. Um, I did have a gentleman stop by and talk to me at discussion at length, you know, in regards to the property and, you know, what's the story behind the property. And a lot of people would be interested in, you know, buying the property. And I said, well, unfortunately, it's not for sale. Great However, <laughs> huh? a great location. it really is a great location. However, um, this goes back to the previous gentleman who mentioned that he has five contracts <coughs> sitting, sitting in front of him waiting to, uh, I guess, waiting to be decided on. Yeah. So there's still a boat trailer in the back. Yeah, there, yeah. So Yeah. And it's really I mean it's being cited mostly for the accumulation of cinder blocks in the back. I mean it really secured the property and repaired the broken windows and painted over the graffiti and then he just refuses to get rid of the cinder blocks that are all there. And uh and the boat trailer is still there. But yeah, it remains then. Yep. Um, number 10, 146 Wheeler Park. Um, I went by there again today. Um, the, the property appears to be vacant. Um, the, there is an unregistered vehicle still on the property. The unsecured property 
Uh, garage door and the, the garage door, and the door oh, inside the garage door. I, I did not make my way in. I did, okay. you know, like I just checked okay. it to see if it was unlocked, and yes, you can open it up and open the garage door and open that door and go right in. Um, so, so where are we with this then? I'm trying to remember so, if we made contact with someone was it out of state. In, Last meeting we just said if there was no progress, we would have a citation bill. Yeah, I mean, did we, I guess, did we ever know if, did we ever get like a green card back from the I certified can mail? Real quick. I'm sort of cu curious if, if we got a response back from the ownership regarding the notice of hearing right. and the notice of determination and like if, so if, they're, of if they're receiving it. Right. And, uh, but, you know, if, if we're, as long as we're sending it to the address listed with, mm -hmm. With the town, then that's our obligation. But but I, you know, like the the option would be yes, we could cite it. It seems of 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 all the properties on here, it's really there's no. I mean, I don't see any evidence of people going in and out of there. You know, trash around, or we have no reports of t teenagers. Uh, right. Yeah, I mean, technically we probably could, but I, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, like, yeah. we'd have to hire somebody to figure out a way to secure that garage. Would law enforcement, they, would they be able to secure a door uh, with uh, only if maybe there's a call or I am? I don't know on that. I mean, I don't know. Right. It's with. You know, so the town has the right to do some actions, and so we can explore that. We did get the card on the determination, so they received the determination. So they have. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I don't know, maybe we should try to reach out to them, because it seems like such an easy issue of mm -hmm. go in the front door, lock the garage from the inside, and, uh, and walk out and get rid of the car, you know, like, you call. The car obviously hasn't been driven. The, yeah. The car windshield is, is broken now. Um, yeah. You know, now... Hopefully the windshield is broken by something natural, you know. Andrew, where, sure. where is the owner on this one? They're in North Chesterfield, Virginia. North Chesterfield, Virginia. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we can try. I, I, I'll try to reach out to them and see if we can just have a conversation with them to see what their plan is. Um, yeah. You know, rather than going to citation at this point on something that. Um, Okay. This is in you know a little bit more minor than most. All right, so we'll leave that on. Um, uh, leave it or not, another 30 days till or the next meeting until we can maybe figure out, make contact with, and yeah, see if we can get them to do the right thing. Um, okay, hearing no additional old business. Moving on to new business. Um, 53 Beacon View, which driven by last month only, I did not see anything from the street. This is a, 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 a duplex um, where the occupant 53 is on the left side. Uh, and I, again, I don't know even who, where the complainant is, but um, I was able to get to the back today with permission from from others, and there is <clears throat> there is some stored machinery, stored material in the backyard, and that, my guess, is um, where the blight kind of came from. I will print these out and, and send them to us so we have them. But <clears throat> and if you scroll, I think, to the right. And, and a question came up. Um, no, until today, but they um, they did some work in the back of the house. Looks like possible foundation. Um, now it was, it's in a you know a statement only. I can't take it for anything more. But it was kind of like, well, I think they wanted to do an addition. So okay, maybe. But um, follow up with them. Yeah, the. I mean, what is the material that's 
that's in the yard. I, it's hard to make out it what exactly it is. Very hard to make out. And I didn't want to get back there and um, without their permission. But I know it looked like there was a cab for a pickup truck. There was um, a sure. cement mixer, I believe. A, maybe okay. a, yeah. Can't really make out what yeah. it is. I mean, do you feel like it's more than 10 cubic yards of material? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. And the yard goes back a ways. <laughs> you know, a wheelbarrow, I think, here, some chairs, uh, there's the cab. I don't know what that is, seats, but. Yeah. So if you feel like, I mean, so. You know, people are allowed to have chairs in their backyard, and, 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 you know, there's certain things that are kind of like everybody's allowed to have, but the other than those things, like, is the debris, like, the stuff that you would view as junk or debris or waste, like, is that, is that you know, putting you over the, um, putting it over the 10 cubic yards, you know? Oh, yeah, I think so. I, I think the 10 cubic yards is... Yes, but what it is, I don't know. Yeah. You know, um, so if we think it's, if it meets bike criteria, like for accumulation of stuff, you know, like then we have to have a hearing and uh, we'll, we'll, have have to, we'll have to, we'll have to get on the property and like we'll maybe set something up and we can all go and just take a look at it. Can you forward me that picture? Yeah. Oh, please. Hmm. Um, I'll have to, have to sort of meet with the owner and just go on and talk to him about it. Let's see. So, do we need to make a motion on the complaint today, or is it? Required? Well, if you feel it's if you feel it's you know you're a blight prevention officer. If you feel it's more than ten cubic yards, then it's in violation of blight. So we we have yeah, a, I, we have a hearing. I, I yes, I will make a motion. I believe it does meet that criteria. So we'll have a hearing for for next month. We'll send them a hearing notice, and then and then you know the three of us should try to you know since it's hard to get to, probably try to set up a, a joint inspection and and meet with the owner and just kind of go through it and maybe hopefully but just by meeting with him, you know, say all right, well let me take care of some of these things right. and maybe you can bring it under the ten yards and okay. resolve the. Uh, Okay. Okay. All right. Any other new business? I have none. 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 Okay. A motion to adjourn. I like a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thirty-nine minutes.